Hi guys, all right, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. We're at Crazy Crane Campground Hip Camp. And we are going to set up my brand new better $300 tent. We have the Gazelle, this is the Gazelle T4. The Gazelle T4, never let it be said I don't give commercial endorsements. Now, <laughs> one thing about the Gazelle T4, this is 67 inches. <coughs> this is not a backpacking tent, so if you don't have 67 inches in your car to carry this son of a bitch, it might not be the tent for you, but uh, since I have a Toyota truck, all right. Here we go with my brand new better tent. In this handy dandy bag. All right. The uh, footprint on this thing is eight feet by eight feet, and it's got seven foot tall ceilings, which is why. I like it so well. Alright. Well, Baron and I have done this once. So, this is one person who has put this tent up once in his life. heavy. Alright. You just grab these handles and go around and pull the handles. Obviously if you have two people, you know on opposite sides, it moves a lot easier but Wow. Alright, oops. So main I'll put the door here. Alright, then uh if you don't want the rain fly up, and I don't think you should have the rain fly up tonight. Uh, you just know if you, if you do, if you do want the rain fly up, guys, this is when you put the rain fly up. Before you pop the ceiling up, you put the rain fly on. But since there is zero chance of rain and we want this thing to, what's the word, out gas and get some, uh, get some oxygen, so you simply find the door on this thing. It's got these really heavy duty zippers, which is very important. Well, where is the zipper that opens the screen? There we go. All right, then you just go inside and you poke up the middle. And there you go. Is that badass or what, brother? That's the quickest tent assembly I've ever seen. Uh, now, of course, I was giving instructions while I was doing that. Now, if both of us had been doing this, it would have been even quicker. And uh, so what's really nice, it has this open ceiling where you can see the trees above you and get good ventilation. And, and what I love about this, another very important, it's got two doors. It's got a front door and a back door. And that's important for two reasons. I mean, it's nice just to have the front door and the back door. 
But if, if the zipper gets fucked up on one of the doors, you know what I'm saying, then you have another door if uh, one of the doors. So I am very happy. Now this tent will be available at the, uh, at the hip camp in New York, baby, either hip camp. Anybody in the tribe is welcome to spend the night in this lovely tent. I don't even think you need to stake it out. There's no wind, but if, but you know you can uh, you stake it out to pull it. And the other cool thing is the floor. There's two good things about the floor. It's called what they call a bat. Ah, get off the screen. Get her off the screen. Get, get, off get the down. Screen. Get down. Off the screen. And. Uh, so the water, see how the seam goes? There's not a seam on the bottom. So the water is a lot less likely to get in. But you can actually pull the you can pull the floor back anywhere along the way and sweep it out. Oh that's a great feature because oh, if yeah, you get so water inside, you don't have, yeah. It's a damn good feature. Now this screen is a little bit weird, I have to admit. They have a screen. Why would they have this screen with with solid cloth outside but anyway guys so it's eight feet by eight so you feet. can score you can put stuff in there you can put water or whatever in there and is it to hold oh, things oh i see okay yeah, yeah i get it and then you have this one up mm -hmm. here you got these two big ones here this is super comfortable you got a real airy a lot of ventilation and you can put a what it, you can put a queen size bed in oh, here easily. and roll off the bed and you can stand up and walk around. I mean, this has higher ceilings than I have in the Hambone Hilton in my house or in my camper. There's the higher ceilings than in my house or my camper. I love it. And uh, what, How did you find out about this tent? You did Someone camping here had one. Had one. And they loved it, man. And they have all different. It's, th this is the most popular one. It's This is a 300 something dollar tent brand new. Yep. And there, so you will be the first one. Who is it made by? Gazelle. Love it. And uh, I highly recommend it, guys. And uh, anywho, we're going to right. celebrate. Let's go look at this fine looking tent. And then it's got the. Oh, yeah. So the, the rain fly, what the rain fly, I mean, we're not going to put it on because I want this thing to, to air out. Uh, so the rain fly it comes down and attaches to here and it, it both pulls the rain fly taut and mm -hmm. pulls the tent out are you are, when you mm -hmm. put the rain fly it, it it adds a lot more stability to the walls mm -hmm. and then of course you want to put your stakes in the four corners but uh, i'm totally stoked on the new i agree this is on the uh I love the way the the, uh, the frame is is part of the tent. It's an, it's an internal frame. Yeah, yeah. Pop, it's got it's, it's got excellent excellent reviews. I mean, and uh, oh, yeah, it's all first quality. Yeah, the, these uh, the, these very heavy duty zippers, not not that cheap ass shit. So many tents. But anyway, guys, I am totally stoked with my yeah, this is, this is with my great. Gazelle T4. All right, I'm gonna go have a one of my diet beers here on the dock, and then we're heading to get Beautiful. us some dinner. I can't dinner. wait! I can't wait to sleep in this. I'm there gonna you sleep go. Like a baby we'll get, get your review of it tomorrow. Fabulous.